Let's take a look at the main project window handling inside of Nuendo 7. The project window is incredibly flexible for your production needs. We'll start off on the left hand side where we have our inspector. This would allow us to see the fader for the selected track, the sends, channel strip, inserts, etc. And if you hold down the control or command key, you can have multiple functions visible simultaneously. We have our main project window here, which has many different types of tracks. So you have audio, MIDI, video tracks, but you could also have any number of different track types, including folder tracks, loudness, VCA, tempo tracks, etc. On the right hand side, we have specialized tabs where you can see VST instruments or a scaled down version of the media bay so we could load up different audio files as well as track presets, uh, plug-in presets, etc. Going to the setup window in the upper left hand side, we can see that we can choose different parts of the program to in fact be visible. So if I don't want to see the info line, the racks, or the inspector, we can hide them there. Anytime an event is selected, we will see the info line. So if I wanted to rename, type in a description, adjust the start time, end time, adjust the volume, transpose, etc. Anytime an event is selected, we see all the information for that event correctly displayed there. We see our timeline represented here. And everything is done at the sample resolution, and we could do, show it in different time formats. So if I wanted to see it in bars and beats, I could right-click to open this window. Or if I wanted to see it in seconds or time code, we could just select our various time formats. If you wanted different time formats throughout the program, we could add ruler tracks. So if I wanted to see seconds here and bars and beats above MIDI, at this point we could actually have different ruler tracks so that we could display different time formats throughout the project. The divide track list feature is very handy for anchoring particular tracks to the top of the project window. So if I wanted to scroll, we can just scroll down and leave the video track intact. If I wanted to turn that off, I could just click right here in the divide track list icon. And as I scroll, we don't have the video track anchored or I could enable that by clicking right there and I could pick and choose different tracks to be anchored to the top which is very handy when using it as a reference track. Folder tracks are very helpful for organizing large projects. So if I wanted to take all of my backgrounds, all of my music tracks, all of my dialogue tracks and different ambience tracks, we could organize these into folders. So as we open and close these, and we could have folders within folders as well. The visibility options can be toggled from the inspector area so that we can hide particular tracks in our main project window. We see the folders indicated here. So if I wanted to hide these Foley tracks, I could hide them collectively as a group within the folder. Or if I wanted to only see the vocal tracks, hold down the shift key, at that point, we will only see the dialogue tracks for that particular project. These can all be stored as presets in our configuration. So if I wanted to show all tracks, I could do that. Or I could show tracks that only have data or tracks between locators. Or a really handy one is as we're playing this back, if I wanted to show tracks that are only playing at the cursor position, I could click right there. And now it will hide every track that wasn't playing at that particular moment in time. So if I wanted to show all tracks, now this can also be synchronized with our mix console as well. So clicking right there will synchronize the track views with the mix console. Now many of the functions can also be, main windows can be accessed through the functions keys on your computer keyboard like the F1, F2. So F1 will bring up the Nuendo uh, manual in PDF form. F2 will hide or show the transport. F3 opens and closes the mix console. F4, the VST connections. F5 will open to close the media bay. F6, your automation window. F8 
will open up your video window and F9 will actually cycle between all the different tools. Nuendo also has the ability to easily import tracks from other projects. We can choose import audio tracks from different projects, but multiple projects can be open simultaneously. So if I wanted to jump to a different project, we could activate the project by clicking on this icon, or even without the project open, I could take an audio file from one project and simply drag and drop into a completely different project. So as you can see, the project window handling in Nuendo is incredibly powerful.